Welcome back to the channel, everybody. I'm Matt Don't Play, and today we're back on Elm Creek, and we're starting a Let's Play series. So let's get started. Well, the big city life wasn't for me, and it's time to move back home. So before I left the city, I bought me a new truck, and I'm heading back to familiar grounds. Now, I just gotta find a place to live. So let's take a look around the map and see what we can find. There's gotta be a place or two around here for sale. This is such a last minute decision, I didn't even check online to see if anything was available. So the search begins. Man, I've driven all over the place and can't find a... What? What is this? That looks like a for sale sign. Hmm. That's interesting. Let's go take a look. can't see anything from the road, but I do see some hay. Hmm. It's quite a long driveway. There's got to be something down here. There, I'm starting to see something. Okay. Okay. Man. Looks like there hasn't been anyone here in years. Well, I'm going to take a look around. This place might be worth buying. I mean, it is the first place that's been for sale this whole day. I better pull up slowly. This has been vacant a while. I don't want to scare up any squatters who've been using this place for shelter since it's been abandoned. Well? No, door's locked. Okay. Let's walk around here check this place out. Okay. That looks like a newer shop. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, recently been built. You can still see the mud on the drywall. And there's stuff inside the house. Okay. Maybe it hasn't been so long. That just means the price is going up. Oh, man. A couple small silos here, but look to be in good shape. So that's good. Don't have to spend a lot of money there. Look at that rusty old grain auger. They may have been living here, but they definitely weren't farming. Maybe I can change that. Well, this is definitely an older barn, but it looks to be in great shape. Well, this one's locked too. Let me try this side door. Good deal, it's open. There's a lot of space in here. I'm really liking what I'm seeing. And then there's this newer metal shop over here. This could turn into something. I think if I get this at the right price, on a little bit of work, this might turn into a really awesome farm. Back in the truck, I think I need to talk to somebody about this. We'll jot a few notes down here, and we'll make our way to town. Hopefully I can work it into the deal to keep that hay. It'll definitely make getting started easier. And that's a really nice pasture up here on the right. Lots of opportunities. I can keep it a hay field or plow it under and turn it into a field that can make me some money. Lots to think about on this drive, but I think I've made my decision. I'm gonna try to buy it. Just gotta make the numbers work. So wish me luck and let's get to the realtor. I remember the realtor's office being up here somewhere. Oh, they've moved. Here it is. You can tell by all the signs out on the front. Okay, well here we are. Let's make this happen. I'm kind of nervous. I've never done something like this before. I hope I get a good deal. See you on the outside. 
Hello, Miss Sullins. I didn't know you still were a realtor here. Well, good. Well, I'm coming to talk to you about a property, and this is it. This up here. There's a big for sale sign by owner, and I was hoping you could help me out with it. I think I want to buy it. Can you help me out? How much are they asking for it? Oh, okay. I, it's a lot, but I, I think I've got just enough in the bank. It's a lot, though. But I think I'll take it. A month later, and I just walked out of closing, holding the keys to my brand new old farm. So let's hop in my truck, and let's go check this place out now that it's officially mine. Well, I just got off the phone with my grandpa, and he said if I can find a way to haul it, there's some old equipment out back on his farm that I could have. So let's stop here at the shop and see if I can get them to haul it for me. I mean, that's what they do, right? Hey, fellas. I just bought the farm on the other side of your building here, and I need some help. Think you can help me haul some equipment from a couple of counties over? Oh, yeah? Great. Shoot me a price. How much? Okay. Okay. 5500 That doesn't sound too bad. I think I have it. So, that's a deal. Ah, they're a little busy with harvest season getting ready to start, so they told me it wouldn't be till next month till I get my equipment. But, that'll give me time to move in and get started on some projects around the house. That for sale sign won't be there much longer. I better enjoy this moment. Go take a picture by it. I really love this long driveway to the house. It keeps everything nice and secluded. It's one of the reasons why I bought it. One of the many upgrades I'll probably make to this place is putting a gate at the front though, just to keep the riffraff out. Today's the day. Just got back to my grandpa's house with the titles to the equipment. The driver was just getting there as I was leaving to pick up the first load. Can't wait to see that pulling down the driveway soon. And when you know it, there he is, right on time. First load strapped down and ready to be unloaded at the new farm. Can't wait to put this stuff to work. Walk out here, get everything signed off on, and we'll get this stuff unloaded. Look at that Alice Chalmer. Man, that's gonna be a good workhorse. first truck unloaded quickly so I could get him back on the road to grandpa's and get this next load. And here it is. This one's my favorite one. Look at that big old white field boss and that Oliver. I told grandpa from day one I wanted both those tractors. I just needed to have a farm to use them. And just like that, the last load's here and grandpa's old combine showed up. Don't let it fool you. It hasn't been used in a long time. He did like to maintain his equipment, but he's since upgraded, and I get the leftovers. But no complaining here. Let me get this truck on the way before they charge me more. I thought he'd never leave. He's quite the talker, and did have some good stories about this farm. Said he knew the old man who used to live here. Said he was a pig farmer, and just got out of it when he got too old. Those are some big shoes to fill. I hope I can make him proud of this land. But. It's time to turn it into my own place now. Even though this equipment is old, I still want to get it undercover. So let's get this stuff moved around. It may not be its permanent home, but at least it's inside. Then we can start working on everything and getting ready for next season. When we do it right and get everything planted and harvested with this old equipment. 
really looking forward to this series. A few of you let me know that you wanted to see a Let's Play on this build. So here I am. So leave some comments down below. Let me know what you want to see. I've got some pretty good ideas, but subscribers have some good ideas too. So if you want to see something, let me know and be a part of this Let's Play. Can't wait to get these workhorses out in the field and get some farming done. Be sure to hit that notification bell so you know when episode two comes out. And with all the new maps being released, I can definitely guarantee you there's more map builds coming. So you'll want to be notified when those come out as well. So I really want to get the auger moved, check it out, see if it's worth saving or if we need to get rid of it. So let's go back out, let's go get it out of the weeds and see what happens. grabbing the GMC for this job, just in case it's stuck or buried in the mud, I thought this would have no problem getting it out. So let's get back here and see if it's worth selling or if it needs to just be scrapped. Wait, what's that? I think I see something. Oh my goodness, is that what I think it is? No way. Buried here in the weeds? The old man must have just forgot about it. Didn't even know it was here. Forget about the auger. Maybe we need to dig this out and see if it's ready to work. I think we found what we're doing in episode two. Well, with that, we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing to my channel. Smash that like button. Leave a comment on this and all my videos. Share my channel and my videos with some friends and family who might also like Farming Simulator. And until next time, I'm Matt Don't Play.